just a scrum advantage for Australia here. And it's their turn to go wide. Australia and Vaihu. Wonderful handoff from the centre. He's got uh, Wilson to his inside. And then back for O'Donnell. That's a magnificent score. The junior Wallabies attacking from inside their own 22. Playing on a scrum advantage. The handling was slick. The break from David Vahu was telling. The support line from Wilson, superb. And the finish from O'Donnell. Oh, this is excellent. And Vahu, look what he does. He cuts back on the inside. It opens up to the traffic. Guess who's supporting there? Wilson, like any good number nine. And he dishes it out. And over goes O'Donnell. Transition attack at his best. Both, ball in both hands. He's looking. He gives it, and O'Donnell goes over. Owen, is it fading back? Yes, just enough. Glancing in off the left hand upright. Difficult for the goal kickers planting that, that front foot. The island strength through the forwards and over the line, but is the ball down? Not quite. Is here. No head goal. Will they go pick and drive again? James McNabney. And over the top they go for Nicholson. Well, it's the winger who gets the try, but huge credit to the Ireland pack in the build-up to this score. I'm just trying to see who made that carry. There was a pick and drive. Just after this, that pick and drive there, he gets into beast mode, pumping his legs, refusing to go down. And Sam Prendergast, who has an opportunity to kick a second penalty with the clock in the red and a kick to take Ireland into a one-point lead. And absolutely no problem for Ireland's fly half. That's good. Ireland go low into contact. Meter and a half short. McCarthy asking for Good. some support into contact, but taps it on for Gleeson. <laughs> Try awarded by Angus, maybe. And it is Brian Gleeson, the big number eight, who's up with the ball. He's had an outstanding match. This is a big opportunity to really try and put this game away first job done by Kono Tienig in the second row Ireland driving towards the line the breakaway well try awarded thought it may have been held up Teddy Wilson certainly thought he'd got an arm underneath it Last. Oliver uh, that's been lost forward by Ireland and secured by Mayaba Ooh, that's high from okay. Telfer on, on Lancaster. No advance, guys, from the knock on. Time and off. There is a check being made. Is that you? Do you want to check it? No, it doesn't look what good, does it? Yeah. All right. Let me just confirm the number, mate. I'll come back it's to you. Rory Telfer. So we're just checking potential high tackle. pulled out here. The replacement winger. You replaced Andrew Osborne on that right wing. He By Green. By green, 23, mate. Okay, so All we're right. looking at head contact by green, 23. Thank Darby you. Lancaster is the man down injured. Oof. He's definitely gone. Yeah, thanks, Tempo, back on me. Whether it's going to be a red card you, or mate. not. So we do have a high tackle. It is foul play against green, 23. It meets the yellow card threshold, so it's a yellow card. Completely agree, mate. 23. Yeah. Uh, Look, it's a high tackle. A yellow card, and it's off field review. 
when you're going to rush up and make hits like that or reads like that, you've got to have the ability to dip also at the same time. Well, tap and go from Ireland. Have they managed to slide over through Barrett? Not quite. Short again with the pick and drive for Ireland. Seconds remaining for them to get their fourth try. George Morris unable to get over. Hands up, go. They go again through Mangan. And the try is awarded. Ball on the line. Says Angus maybe the celebrations from Ireland as they get their fourth and bonus point try. And, uh, Dermot Mangan is the man who delivers the heroics for Ireland after the final hooter had sounded. Jack Oliver with the kick. It doesn't matter, but it's good anyway. <laughs>